As a newly elected member of the European Parliament for the Pirate Party, what are your three main objectives in this term? Right. Uh, first of all, we, we want to stand up for, for human rights in the digital environment, in particular the right to privacy. Unfortunately, we see that being under threat in, in many, many countries. Now, in French, there's the infamous Hadopi law, which says, first of all, that people should be uh, shut off from the Internet, that is, blocked from accessing information, in direct contravention of, of the Article 10 of the European Convention uh, of uh, Human Rights. And uh, there are other initiatives to spy and, on what everybody's doing on the Internet, which is in contra uh, uh, contradicts uh, Article 8 of the European Convention. So we want to remind uh, politicians from traditional parties that human rights must apply on the Internet as well. That's one uh, of, the, of the focus areas. second one is to reform intellectual property, in particular copyright. Uh, we want to reform copyright. We don't want to abolish it, uh, but reform it so that it fits together with, with uh, modern society. What we've seen in the last 20 years is that copyright has moved from something that only affected businesses uh, into something that affects every teenager every day of his life. And copyright was ne never meant to be like that, uh, never designed for it. And so instead of be being uh, something that promotes uh, culture and the spread of culture, it's become the exact opposite uh, of the intention. We want to bring copyright in tune with the modern times. And that can be done with, with, without uh, causing any drastic uh, changes in businesses uh, that work today. That's the second focus area. And the third one is to, to do whatever we can to bring more uh, democracy and transparency to the European Union. It's a big problem with the European Union. All the member states are democracies, but the European Union as such is not. Uh, most of the power resides with the Commission. The Commission is not democratically elected. It's appointed. Uh, through various ways that, that are very uh, untransparent and impossible for ordinary citizens to, to affect. And if the Lisbon Treaty go, go, goes into effect, we'll even get a precedent uh, that's never been elected. Uh, so the Pirate Party is opposed to the Lisbon Treaty? Yes, uh, yes indeed, we are, because, because the Lisbon Treaty would uh, make permanent uh, for... for in a worst-case scenario, a long, to, uh, long time ahead, make permanent the democratic deficit. That is the, the, uh, the basic problem that, that is causing uh, uh, the, cause for, uh, the reason why so many, so many bad laws come from, from the European Union. So we'll do whatever we can to oppose that. Of course, I mean, it's not up to the European Parliament anymore to, uh, to say yes or no to the Lisbon Treaty, but anything we can do in, in that area. Because, the, the problem is, to compare to China, I mean, mm -hmm. China changes president uh, every now and again, and then, uh, then uh, the new president will be somebody who's risen through the ranks and been appointed by his peers to become the president of China. We very often, and quite rightly, criticize China for, for the lack of democracy. But now, with the Lisbon Treaty, I mean, the president of Europe will be somebody who's risen through the ranks, been appointed by his peers, uh, in exactly the same way. I mean... Mm -hmm. Why on earth would we in Europe want, want to introduce a system like that? But then we'll see what we can do, do about that. But anyway, the, the, those are the three major areas, the three areas that we are interested in. On other issues, we don't have an opinion. We, we're, we say that we don't have uh, any particular expertise uh, to add the traditional parties, handle the, the traditional uh, policy areas, uh, at least as good as we would, uh, probably better because, I mean, they started them. Thank you.